So today in Mudrunner, we are taking on some of the most impossible trails, crossing rivers, and getting ourselves in a lot of trouble. So stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. All right, so we're checking out our first mod here, and folks, it appears to be an R8 on steroids. It's got rear steering, it's got dualies on the front and the back. And folks, this thing isn't even modified yet. So I have a massive river that we're gonna attempt to cross here today. And I figured, you know what, let's start with this. I don't know how deep it is. I don't even know if this thing will make it. I'm pretty sure we can jack this up. Also, I don't know if I like this rear steer. This rear steer on a car this size feels really, really odd. So let's try to customize this. Now there is a non rear steer version. I don't wonder if I should grab that. All right, so no longer have the four wheel steering here. Let's customize this bad boy. Uh, there is a military US diesel. Uh, what the heck? This thing has a lot of engine options. So I found a really strong engine. Hold on, let's make this go as high as possible. Okay, that already looks ridiculous. All right, we need the biggest set of tires. We gotta get this thing off the ground. Uh, please tell me we can go higher. Oh, 40 inch tires. Oh dear, 47s. Hold on, do we got a couple more inches here? There we go, that looks absolutely ridiculous. Boom, all right, let's get those. Uh, let's go ahead and try to maybe decorate this thing a little bit. It, it needs a little something here. All right, here she is. I have to say it's not much of a looker, but you know what? This thing's totally gonna uh, get this done. Also, it's basically rolling coal at the back. This is fine. All right, so I need to find the path down to the river. There's a nice road over here. I was thinking about yeeting it off the, uh, the back hill there to get directly down to the river, even though I just blew down a fence. Yeah, this thing still, like, its steer is really, really weird. Uh, this is a whole ton of awkward here. But you know what? We got this. Uh, let's get up through the gears here. Uh, we'll see where our entry point for the river is. You know, for an off-roader, like, just straight up trails, this thing actually feels really good. Oh, dear. Uh, there's our river. You know, that doesn't look that bad. Maybe it's deeper in other spots or something. I don't know. Yep, only in SnowRunner do you have an R8 that looks this absolutely ridiculous. All right, I see a bridge up here. So, I mean, where's our entry into the waterway? Uh, oh, the bridge isn't complete. Oh, this is one of those objectives. It's fine, we don't need a bridge. All right, let's just go off. Let's see how deep is, it? oh, I just hit something. This is fine. Uh, kinda wish this thing had a snorkel on it. Uh, all right, how deep is this river? Oh, it is entirely too deep. Wait, wait. Where's the, wait, how is the engine not flooding right now? Wow, I don't even have much to do this episode. We made it across in the first try. What the, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, the R8 just made it across on. We don't need no bridge. And we just drive up through the other side. Okay, that was way too clean. Hold on, we gotta drive up river. And let's see if it's a little deeper somewhere else. Okay, the river's looking a bit wider on this side. Let's go ahead and go back down. Oh dear. Yeah, there's like no risk, to, uh, no risk to flood this thing. I I'm assuming that's maybe something with the mod here. Like, uh oh. Okay, I think we are officially floating. Oh, okay, now this is what I was talking about. I wanted today to be a challenge and we are no longer moving forward. Hold on, if I release the brake, is it gonna carry us down river? Nope, I think we're actually stuck here. Hold on, come on. Let's see if we can weasel our way out. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got the. Oh. <laughs> you don't have this. This is fine. We're slowly floating down. Well, uh, let's set the parking brake real quick. Let's call for rescue. Speaking of rescue, I've got a couple other big creations that I want to use. I really just wanted to pull out this R8 just to show you guys how truly ridiculous snow runner is at times all right so we have something called the shark this looks like it's straight out of like mass effect which there's a chance this is out of mass effect uh let's go ahead and see if we can customize this this looks incredible all right so we have the basic engine we have improved and advanced let's go and get the advanced uh gearbox let's go with the off-road box and then can we make this a little higher uh raised really doesn't do much Maybe we should do the uh, the active suspension here. And then of course we got the tires that we can put on here, which appears to be, oh, never mind. We can get 71s on here. There we go, let's put those on. And wait, 
Oh, I thought that was a cannon. That's a crane. <laughs> I was like, why? Oh, there is a gun. Wait, can you shoot other cars with repair points? Uh, yes, I want this. Yo, what the heck? This is a cockpit. This is crazy looking. All right, well, we got this. There's no way that we can't conquer the river and go rescue our R8 uh, with this thing. Like, this is gonna work. Can we just go straight through the forest? I feel like we can with this. Oh yeah, the, yep, this thing, okay. We're just slowly trying to take down the trees. Does the gun work? Can we just fire at the trees with the gun? Okay, maybe we actually do have to take the trails. This is fine though. Though so this thing's got some really good power. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to see out of this. I feel like the bar that's in front of us, like here it's fine, but once we get going down, uh, yeah, it's a little hard to see out of this thing. Uh, maybe you're not meant to be on the interior, even though the interior has actually some nice uh, looking controls in it. All right, let's spot the, uh, the R8. I think it's a little further down. There's no way this thing can't absolutely just rip that thing out of the water. Yeah, Komodo might have taken a wrong turn back there, but we're going to go ahead and dump this off into the river real quick. Okay, no dangerous water levels. Nope. Dude, this thing is ridiculous. Okay, so let's just go up river here. I'm trying to grab more gear. Actually, keep it in auto. Uh, it's not going to go faster in this, I don't think. But, yeah, we're not getting stuck. All right, let's uh, try to find the R8. I think it's upriver somewhere up here. Okay, we have spotted a uh, stranded R8. So, I don't think I can actually be in, like, the middle part of the river. It is actually pretty deep. Like, it would go over the top of this. But, I think this thing's going to have the towing power in order to rescue the R8. So, do we have an opening? Kind of an opening over here. We need one a little closer to it. Oh, geez. Am I stuck on something? No, the current is just, I think, actually really bad right here. Uh, yeah, you got yourself, well, actually, it's technically me, but I got myself stuck in a really, really bad spot. Hey, here we go. Clunk, winch connected. All right, let's start to pull. Oh yeah, no pro, actually, the problem is the trees. Hold on, in between the trees, please. All right. Oh, up, 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 there it goes. And then let's start to pull. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Dude, this APC is like the best tow truck ever. Uh, all right, at least that, we'll leave that right there. Uh, let's go further up and see what we can find. All right, we have found the lumber yard and we have effectively crossed the river like a million different times. Like, I don't think there's nothing that we can uh, not do, especially in the, uh, the old APC here. I almost feel like for our next creations, we should probably go to just a little bit of a harder map. What do you guys say? Okay, so we're in Red Canyon and we've got the Dearborn Rough Stock. This thing looks just absolutely mean. Uh, so we've got a V8 motor in there right now. Let's go ahead and put the 460 in there. We've got a crawler gearbox. And then you've got one that should be used in auto mode. Okay, let's go ahead and get the custom tuned suspension and let's throw the biggest, baddest tires we can on it. All right, so check this thing out. That engine is absolutely massive. All right, this is totally gonna make a lot of horsepower and uh, make us fly across the, uh, the desert, right? Uh, I believe so, hold on, here we go. Okay, so we are in low here and wait, how does this thing work? This is a weird gearbox. I mean, it's cruising along here. Oh, geez. <laughs> Okay, uh, keep it down and low. So does it like auto? Oh, okay. This isn't quite what I thought it was going to be gearbox. I think this is meant for all the different low gears. Oh, geez. Look at all the mud that we're flinging up. You can't even see the truck anymore. Uh, this is fine. So maybe I should put the other gearbox in. I, I thought we were going to go flying across the desert. Hold on, let's recover this real quick. All right, here we go. All right, so we got our auto working now. So let's go ahead and bump it up a couple gears. Oh, this has got some speed. Okay, this is gonna be perfect. All right, let's make our way out to the trail map. Uh, the blower on the top, like this is almost uh, borderline uh, distracting, like looking at the front. You got the uh, exhaust coming out. You got the big blower. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. All right, let's try to get down towards the river here. Uh, this one has some really extreme trails. So we're gonna test this bad boy, even though it looks like it's doing a really good job. It does look a little, oh geez. It looks a little on the top heavy side. Like this thing sits really high off the ground. I'm sure you can get the little bit lower suspension, even though that's not as fun. Uh, everybody likes the high suspension. Oh no. Oh, these trails are gonna probably be the death of this thing. Okay, hold on, kind of take it easy here. Oh, we gotta get down through the middle of this. Uh oh, okay, we're good. On, bounce it up. There it goes. 
Oh yeah, we got this. We totally have this. Okay, I might not have this on. It's going really sideways. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I love this one. Okay. Oh, bounce, bounce. Oh, oh no. Okay, we got this. Okay, we can get ourselves out of this. Okay, we go up through here. So, it might not have been meant for this trail. I know there's some, a uh, little bit, I guess you could say more put together trails on the other side. <laughs> I think we might have gotten ourselves stuck again. Hold on, let's try to winch out of here. Uh, give me a winch point that is not a twig. I might have to manually connect to something. Here we go, pulling ourselves out. All right, we have officially gotten ourselves stuck on the other side. This is not meant for this trail. We probably should turn back the other direction back there. Nope, yeah, we are definitely stuck. All right, now this is more like it. You know, I don't know what it is about like SnowRunner and speed, but when you get any creation like remotely fast, regardless of what it is, the game turns into a big slidey like ice ring. Uh, I know I've talked to several other people that play this game. They've all experienced like similar things. Like you can get really nice street cars that should have all the grip in the world. You get going fast, it turns into an ice ring. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that, but uh, it's fine. Uh, we should get out to the canyon here really shortly, though. Dude, this looks incredible. Look how it's just flying over these bumps. Here we go. Boom. And we're going to do the canyon hop. And we... Oh, dear. Okay. Oh! Okay, that was an almost landing. I think we just blew out a tire. What did that think was going to happen there? Like, seriously. Uh, sometimes I question why I do this. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. Does she still run? She still runs. A little stuck right now. I have a feeling uh, that we got a couple blowouts. Uh, I've got some spares on the back. Hold on. Oh, I think it might just be deep through here. Let's try to pull ourselves over. There's a, a main road over here. No, never mind. We're actually good. Man, this is a resilient little booger. I feel like the back suspension's broken, though. It is definitely like... It's almost like a squatted truck now. It just... Oh, yeah. It's definitely broken. Look at that. The tires are up in the wheel wells now. Uh, no, this is okay. I also, there is a chance we have a ruptured fuel tank. Um, yeah, we're losing fuel probably faster than we should be. So we got to make this trip count. Wait, do I have repair points on this? Uh, let's stop. Uh, repair. Oh, yeah, look at this. I have uh, at least enough for wheels. I don't think I have anything for the gas tank, do I? Oh, um, well... There's not a lot I can do here. Uh, yeah, we're still screwed. Okay, let's keep going. It's that awkward moment where Komodo should have maybe pack some repair points here. Uh, we're almost to our uh, destination anyway. I want to get down to the bottom of this river. Like, look at this trail. Like, this has got to be one of the most dangerous trails in the game because, oh, you just fall off and it's just river. Yo, this suspension being, uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're dead. Oh, okay. Say goodbye. Oh, and we're in the river. Oh, and we just drowned. Can we get an F in the chat, please? So this is what happens when you want to buy a big jacked up truck, but all you got are power wheels. This is the, uh, the Warthog that's just micro. Does this thing actually drive fast? Hold on. What the... <laughs> I don't even know why I pulled this out. This is really kind of pointless. I mean, it's kind of like the RC cars, except for we're actually riding on top of this. Uh, hold on. Oh, actually, we are in the highest gear. There's not a chance that we can put a big, like, V8 motor on this, is there? Dude, look, we can add 2.4 more volts to this thing. Uh, on, can we get a, oh, a two-speed? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, can we put bigger tires on this? Not, I mean, I don't think it really matters. Hold on. Let's just see if this actually improved this. Okay. Oh, All right, look at the whiplash the guy gets here. Yoink. Oh, hold on. That wasn't quite what I was looking for. We'll wait for it. Let's see. Oh, see, he kind of flings around. That looks rather violent. Hold on, let's go high gear. Oh, the high gear. The high gear is like a backbreaker. Hold on, oh. <laughs> This is stupid. I swear he just hit his head in the, on the back of it when it took off. I don't even want to drive. Oh, okay. Yep, there's definitely something wrong here. Oh! I don't want to drive this thing. This is this is dumb, but it's also amazing. And 
I think my guy's having some sort of exorcism right now, or, uh, yeah, they're, yeah, I don't know what to explain. Oh, okay, I don't know what's happening. We should probably move on to something else. Oh, dear. That is kind of frightening. Okay, so I had my eyes on a couple more. I feel like since we're out in kind of like the, the desert, kind of looks like a wasteland, we've got this thing called the Marauder. Now, this does look like it has like a fifth wheel attachment to the top of it. What the... This is ridiculous. Hold on. This is cool. Uh, let's put the biggest and baddest engine on there. And let's see. What do we have here? So you have a high range special off-road tune. Let's go with that. Uh, stock. So it sets pretty low. That's the only thing I'm a little worried about. But, I mean, if it's fast enough, I don't think we're going to have much of an issue here. Uh, so we got that. And then you have the frame. So, yeah, there's a saddle on this. What? I mean... I don't think I'm going to be pulling trailers anytime soon with this, but that's a thing. Hold on, let's get the roof rack on. Uh, we got beacons here that we can put on it. Those fog lights in the front actually look kind of cool. And then we can paint this bad boy. This looks like it's straight up from Mad Max. I like this. So, what do we have here? Okay, speed-wise, it's decent. Hold on, let's go ahead and kick up in the auto. Uh, it's got four-wheel steering in the front. It's a little awkward feeling. It's like kind of floaty. Uh, see what it does at higher speeds though. There we go. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, I wish, it looks like there's guns on the front. I wish those worked. Uh, this is one of those vehicles where it's just kind of like a, you know, it's a nice visual vehicle. I just really wanted to pop this out and uh, show you guys this real quick. I have proceeded to get it stuck immediately. Uh, okay, that, that's rather embarrassing. I, I didn't think a vehicle like this would get stuck that quick. I mean, it is really low. Uh, hold on, let's try low gear. Can we can we get any traction here? No, we need a tow out of this bad boy. We are totally screwed. What the? Wow, that's probably the quickest I've gotten a vehicle stuck. I mean, it looks really cool though. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna pull the good old crazies eight by eight out real quick because I feel like this is gonna be something that will be able to handle these uh, dangerous trails. And we're gonna head down to the same trail that killed us earlier. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to actually get across and maybe get down to the river, at least in one piece. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that, that looks just fantastic. I mean, I probably wouldn't drive this in real life. I wouldn't mind owning it. I mean, I'm not sure how much I would use it, but yeah, it's definitely a thing. Oh, let's bump it up. It's got really good speed though. Like that is really nice. I uh, got a really nice active suspension. Look at this thing just tear across the uh, the desert here. Okay, I think we're going to be just fine when it comes to that trail. Dude, look at us. Oh, this is incredible. Okay, uh, getting a little bit of suspension damage. It's fine. Uh, oh, buddy. Okay, here we go. Going for the launch like the last vehicle. We're going to be carrying more speed. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Land it, land it. Nailed it. All right, cranks right back up. Got a little bit of damage to the front, a little to the bed. It's fine. All right, so here is the path. So here we go. Most dangerous path on this map. Let's see if we can actually survive it here. Uh, I'm probably not going to survive it if I try to go over it too fast. Hold on, let's maybe pace ourselves a bit. Okay, we got this. Oh, uh, this is like the best looking part of the map. Like, man. <laughs> I wouldn't do this in real life. Not gonna lie, Komodo is not the biggest fan of heights. Like, I can deal with them, but, you know, I would choose to avoid them if I could. <laughs> okay, this is not too bad. It gets, uh, I think, a little tighter up here. Uh, you gotta watch out for these little uh, drop-offs, but I think with all the tires stacked up in the back, uh, we are not gonna have an issue, even with the big rocks here. Hold on, let's go off to the side. Oh, geez, okay, I almost flew off that time. Okay, isn't there a, there's a bridge down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, look at this. We are handling this like a champion. Also, if you guys know of any maps that have like really janky trails on the side of a cliff, let me know. I like driving trails like this in the game. Okay, yeah, this looks a little janky right here. Okay, we got this just, oh no, why did I do that? I went over that too fast. Hold on, I think we can still pull ourselves out of this. Look at that. That really probably shouldn't have worked. Oh, look, there's a bridge that we can build. But you know what? We're not worried about that bridge. We can just go on the janky trail to the right. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. And then we're up and over. 
Like, I think that was supposed to be a challenge for maybe a smaller vehicle. Now, the next bridge being incomplete might be a bit of a challenge. You know, we should actually try to play this map one day. Just see if we can go complete the bridges. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're getting over, uh, we're not getting over that one. Let's just continue the trail here. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is getting really janky. Okay, we got this. Looks like it's a little bit better up here. Nice. Yep. We got this handled. This is probably one of the best trucks I've actually ever felt in the game. Like, it just gets over everything. And you figure, you know, a lot of times these long trucks, they get kind of stuck. Like, this just isn't a thing with this truck. Uh, the amount of power that it's got. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. And, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know about it being a long vehicle? Hold on. Can we pull ourselves... We could pull ourselves out of this. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess we're going down to the river, aren't we? Yep, this drives right off. It feels like a tank. Uh, I got a snorkel here. I don't think it's quite enough. Nope, I can guarantee it's not. Can I use this to pull me up? Well, I mean, that's a fitting way to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.